Hey everyone! Before we start the video, I'd like to announce that we just launched an SCP podcast channel called Redacted. This podcast heavily discusses SCP lore, theories, and more. Check it out in the description down below. All right, time to start the video. Okay, so you were found in an abandoned house in Venice. Uh, could you tell me a little more about your first memories there? Crystal, I've been answering your questions this whole time. We should switch it out, yes? Uh, sure. Uh, is there something you'd like to ask? I was wondering, has my request been fulfilled? I have been waiting ever so patiently. I'm sorry, 035, but you know we can't allow you to possess 6A2 or 4715. Their regenerative qualities would practically make you invincible. Precisely. It just becomes so dull having to be stationed in one area. I prefer a live host. Yeah! No. After all those attempted escapes, the higher-ups have decided you will no longer be allowed any more hosts. Hmm, is that so? Yes. Hmm, how does that make you feel? Well, to be quite honest, it saddens me. I really do enjoy your company, Crystal. When is our last discussion? I want it to be extra special. Our last discussion ended just now. So if you'll excuse me, I have to document this. Does it not make you at least a little melancholic that our friendship will be coming to an end? Not in the slightest. I know you're just trying to manipulate me so you can escape. But Crystal, I feel as though we were somehow destined to be united as one. Mm-hmm. I will miss you. I did wish our conversations were longer. <sighs> I do gotta admit, SCP-035, you are a chatty one. It was interesting getting to know your history. 035? Hmm. I guess this is goodbye, 035. Alright guys, for this afternoon, you'll both be guarding the doors for SCP-035. 035, I feel like I've heard of that one before. That's the mask one, isn't it? That is correct. 035 is to be contained within its glass case and changed out every two weeks. You guys are to make sure no one is to walk in unless scheduled to. Sounds easy enough. Great. Seth, you'll be guarding the inside of the containment room. Todd, you'll be outside. Got it? Uh, Tommy, uh, sir, sorry for asking, but... I'm a little nervous with this being my fourth day and all. Do you think I can guard the outside instead? If it's alright with Todd, then I have no problem with it. Hey, it's all the same to me. Just standing around and all. Perfect. Then it's settled. You guys can head on to your stations. You should know the halls by now. Alright, thanks for the help, Tommy. See you later. Phew, man, all this training is exhausting. Hey, Tommy, how's the training going? Oh, the new guards are great. I heard you'll be training some of the new people as well? Sorry, Dad. Later this week I'll be giving a tour to one of the new scientists. Wow, it's crazy, isn't it? A lot of the staff had to be replaced due to that incident with Dr. Clef. Yeah, it's been a week, but the Foundation does move fast. Oh, speaking of scientists, have you gotten a chance to talk with Dr. Iceberg? How is he doing? Yeah, we try to talk as much as we can. He says he and Dr. Gear seem to be getting along well at the new site he's in. Well, that's good to hear. I'm glad he's not alone. Hmm, <laughs> same. So, how are you, Tommy? Honestly, I'm kind of tired. Wish my break was a little longer. Oh no, was it because I made you watch anime all night? No, of course not. 
I had a great night. I also really enjoyed reading those Japanese comics. I just don't understand why all the books are backwards. Tommy! They're called manga and that's just how all Japanese books are! <laughs> I'm kidding, Ruby. I guess I'm just exhausted from all this extra work we've been having to do. Can't wait for this training to be over. Oh, well, you should get an early rest tonight. We don't have to be together all the time. <laughs> I was actually thinking the opposite. Ruby, we've been dating for two weeks now, and... <laughs> huh? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm sorry. I just get really excited knowing that you saying that we're dating isn't a dream anymore. And yes, I've had dreams of you saying that. Go on. Oh, well, I noticed we haven't really gone on a proper date, and I... I'd like to take you out somewhere. I... I'd love to, Tommy. Okay, it's settled then. We'll have our first date tonight. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I tell you to dress cute, but, but you always dress cute. Blah, blah. Ugh, there's other people in here too, you know. Iris, how long have you been sitting there? Too long, Ruby. Now if you'll excuse me, this third wheel is gonna finish her burgy in the restroom. Did I just hear something? Crystal, come to me. No, 035 isn't able to talk without a host. At least from previous reports. Ugh, I think I've been spending too much time in this room. I'm, I'm just gonna call it a day. Have a good night, Todd. See ya, Crystal. Did she say she was hearing voices? I didn't hear anything. I will say, that mask does give me the creeps. Hmm. Who are you? Huh? Did, did you say something just now? Why, yes, my good man. I do not believe we have gotten the pleasure of conversing before. I always see you. You never talk to me. Why? Well, that's kind of my job. I'm supposed to stand here quietly make sure no one tries to break you out. Hiding in the shadows of the researchers, I see. When are you going to shine, Todd? What? What are you talking about? Todd, I believe you and I were destined to meet one another. That's the same thing you said to Crystal. That's it. I'm reporting this now. But then what happens? I get locked away, and you go back to being a lowly guard. That doesn't sound fun, now does it? I mean, it's work. It's not supposed to be fun. But think of it, Todd. Together, you will gain my strength, my knowledge. It'll be all for you. I... I don't know. Todd, let us become one. Hmm. Hey, is everything alright in there? Alright, that's it. I'm coming in. Hey, what was that? Huh? What's going on here? Todd? Todd, what happened here? Oh, I believe Todd is no longer with us anymore. Yeah, you. What did you do to him? I merely consumed his body. It is now mine, you see. It's been years since I've been in a human host. I feel so... alive. Silly boy. Bullets do not affect me. I am merely a mask. No. Th there's gotta be a way. Seth, get out of there! Now! Oh man, Tommy. Thank you for saving me. Todd, he just... I wish there was something I could have done for him, you know? It's too late for him now. 
That mask will absorb his body until there's nothing left of it. That's horrible. Why did we just let this happen? When you work at the Foundation, you never know what these SCPs are going to do. We won't be able to save everyone. But wouldn't it be better if some of these SCPs were destroyed? Like the mask, for example? No. There's so much to be learned from them. Who knows what the repercussions would be from destroying them? We're here to protect them, Seth. Remember that. Right. You're right, Tommy. Sorry, I guess I'm a little shaken up from seeing Todd like that. It's alright. I'll stay here and take care of this. Why don't you go find Janitor Bob? He's gonna have a lot to clean up after this. You got it, boss. Thanks again for the help. Huh. Boss. I like the sound of that. Hey, Tommy. Ruby? You sound sad. What's wrong? The SCP Foundation is picking up a signal close to the Foundation. Site Director Patience wants you to go take the new recruits and investigate the source. What? But we were supposed to go on our first date. Here, maybe I can talk to him about- No, it's alright, Tommy. I know you want to make a good impression for the Foundation. We'll just have our date when you come back, okay? Okay. I'll be back soon. I promise. Alright, this is where the signal was coming from, but there doesn't seem to be anything. Huh, what could it have been then? Anything really. An unidentified object, an SCP. Let's just head back for now. I'm sure you guys are exhausted. Ah, no kidding. This was my first late night working and I'm be- Hey! Wh what are you doing? Sorry about this, Tommy. Uh, he's such a nice guy. Hey boss, it's me, Seth. I managed to take out one of the guards like you asked. I'm bringing him back to the GOC base right now. 